What's good everyone, it's your boy Ty here, back at it again with another video, great video for y'all today. A lot of you new players, as, as everything is growing, the community is growing, I'm seeing a lot of people come in, they don't know where to, to begin though, they're picking all these characters and they just don't know, and some of them may not be able to buy a bunch of the stuff, some things are really expensive, market's going up and down, so you're trying to figure out like, man Ty, how do I get going, how do I get begin? Well. Uh, I was talking to a few of my brothers and, and uh, homies in the community and we thought about it and really budget decks. I made these decks and I got a lot of these profiles that are going to be coming up to really increase the community. I want to be able to empower a lot of you newer players who do not understand about deck building and all that and maybe you just may not have even played a card game before at all. Well these will help you get started and I'll have probably one of your favorite characters that you can go and just play casually, goof off. All the decks that I have here, nothing's higher than a rare, okay? And so it is rare uncommon and commons that's all it's full of but i'm telling you right now you can you can really hurt somebody with these decks if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do so you can stay up to date with all the latest videos that are going to be coming up as we go along so the first character that i have for y'all today is none other than <laughs> all might himself that's right all might this guy is going to be dope so without further ado let's get into the video Welcome to my house. What is good guys, it's your boy Ty here. This is just a skeleton, just a basic tool. Shout outs to Tony2, a dear friend of mine who uh, gave me a lot of the ideas, something that he had uh, thrown at me. So thanks a lot, buddy. And um, here we go with the deck profile. So first we have here All Might. You already know, this is the main man, the number one hero. Uh, he is a five-hander, 30 health. Um, he has the symbols of All, Earth, and good um, and his effect is or his, his skill is if you will uh, it's form so before you play a card or anything once per turn permanently reduce your character's hand size by one draw three cards busted card busted effect as it is so really what that's saying is your starting hand is at five pretty much when you use this effect the next time you have to draw up to your hand size, if you do have to draw up, you draw up to four. It permanently reduces your hand size. But you pretty much start out. If you decide to do it on your on you know on your first turn and you're going second, you pretty much get to draw three cards and you're at eight cards in your hand. So he's an eight-hander. Bust the character. His other his other effect is uh, enhance commit. You commit the character, and your fury or punch attack gets powerful X. X equals the number of cards in your hand. So those of you who don't know what powerful is, pretty much it says this uh, right here in the text. Uh, discard one or more momentum. This attack gets plus X damage for each momentum used to pay the cost of this ability. So really, really, really bonkers character. Let's get further into it though. So our first we run to Misery Smash. Now Misery Smash is this card, I'm telling you, it's uncommon from the set. It, it, it's just insane. I mean, I love it. It's a four diff, three high, five damage, uh, punch attack. Uh, it has the ability enhance if this attack deals damage, build the next foundation you play face up. So pretty much you can play this card. If it gets to deal damage, you can end up, if you need more foundation or a certain type of foundation that you want to get down there sooner and you haven't had the chance to, you, if this gets to deal damage, you get to take that foundation, play it on the next, uh, on, as your next form, if you pass the check, you then get to bring it down. It does not end your combat phase and you continue on with one to throw another attack if you want. All right. The other ability, uh, uh, enhance. If a, if a punch attack has dealt damage this turn, draw a card. So hand advantage. It's just going to keep adding more to this. You just keep going. So, I mean, come on. There's not much to say about it. Then we have uh, Velocity Punch. This comes out of the rival deck. Uh, we run four of these. Um, it has, it's a four low for four damage, um, four diff, punch, the enhance, add one foundation from your stage to your momentum. So those of you who don't understand why um, or wondering why this is here, a lot of it's very self-explanatory. It's very simple. Um, playing the enhance, you can use one of your foundations. 
feed your momentum. And as you do that, it sets up for when you want to end up using it during one of your attacks and you give it, decide to commit your character and give it powerful X, whatever men and number cards you in your hand. So if I wanted to, I could play this. I could literally go play this, do the enhance, take one of my foundations, even one of my committed foundations, which is really good, and then put it under my character and then say, hmm, you know what? I don't know if my parent, my, my, if my opponent, uh, my rival is going to be able to block this. So I'm just going to commit this, give it plus however many cards are in my hand. We'll just say I have five cards in hand or four cards in my hand. I mean, uh, six cards in hand, whatever. It gets powerful six. So then you use that same momentum, pay it, and you just gave it plus six damage or plus four damage. So yeah, it's bonkers. Love it. It's in the rival deck. Definitely want to get that. Uh, four of the throw. This is a five diff reverse throw. Uh, also comes out of the rival deck. This is all a, a lot of the package that I use in here is from Deku's package. Uh, I'm telling you, if you have not had a chance to get the rival deck, definitely get that. It, it will definitely help you if you're trying to run a lot of these symbols to begin with. You'll be using his his stuff a lot. Uh, it has punch, has throw. Those of you who don't know what throw is, pretty much when this attack is blocked it will deal half damage rounded up. So after you uh, after you block, you go to damage step, it goes to calculate and it goes half. If you happen to partial block, it doesn't matter, it's still just gonna deal half damage no matter what. Um, the other thing is the enhance. If this attack deals five or more damage, draw a card. So if you find a way to buff this up, which obviously you can use him to buff it up, you can, there are certain foundations we'll get into um, that will also help aid in more power. Uh, and so it's just it's just a really good card and it's going to be able to deal a little bit of damage And honestly, this is probably one of your kill shots Actually, if anything, it's probably your main kill shot you throw this and then you go Hey, you have enough momentum and you want to give it powerful you go. Hey, I'm gonna give it powerful X again You keep getting drawing cards in your hand getting cards in your hand give it powerful eight Somehow you give it powerful eight. You're like, oh, okay, cool. I'll pay a momentum Plus eight damage. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, that's 13 damage coming at you. Well, you can block it if you want. <laughs> even if you do, well, you gotta block it. That's a lot of damage, but even if you block it, they're gonna take half and you'll still get the draw. Hand advantage, all about it. Next we have Heart and Frenzy. Uh, Heart and Frenzy, uh, four diff, really good stats. Four high for four. Um, really, really poking a lot of times. It's cool because it has an enhanced, um, uh, if this attack is completely blocked, Build it face down after it resolves. Those of you who probably are wondering what, if this is your first time still playing or trying to understand things, whenever, it's, whenever something talks about building, it's talking about taking the card, wherever it's coming from, and building it face down. Unless the card says otherwise to build it face up, you're always building it face down. You're building it face down into your staging area, and then it is used as a foundation. So it's really cool if they want to block it, if they want to chip, you know, partial block it, still chip damage, um, which is cool also because if you just so happen to have one of these, and there is a little little neat trick that I have um, also in this deck that will really help too, uh, to trigger this ability. If somehow you have brought a, a foundation down, which technically you will bring a foundation down if you use Misery Smash, um, and it, you get to use the ability, you'll be able to get this off if you throw this as your next attack. If you have built a card this turn, this attack gets plus one speed, plus one damage. I mean, what more can I say about that? <laughs> um, then we have Setup Strike. And I mean, the name in it is exactly what it does. Setup Strike, it sets up for helping your kill shot go through even more. Three high for five damage, um, four diff, as you can see, a lot of them are cheap. The only one that's more expensive is the reverse throw, but that's okay. Um, has the enhancement. Uh, discard one momentum. This attack gets uh, plus, uh, plus three speed. So discard that momentum, or if you did velocity punch, put that in it. You bring this in there. You play this as your next attack. Pay that momentum. Oh, this gets plus three damage. So that way, I mean, plus three speed. So six high for five damage. Then you give your next attack free, just enhance. Give your next attack plus three speed. That's pretty bon uh, that's bonkers. So uh, yeah, really good. And I love the art on this, by the way. It's really cool. So, um, but yeah, that's it for the attacks. We have 18 attacks. So that really helps with a lot of things. I'm gonna push that off to the side. Uh, now we're gonna go to the foundations. So we got the three diff cards. Uh, we have uh, coordinated uh, effort, 
uh, it's a unique. So those of you who don't know what unique is, and I won't go through all the, um, it, it, as I do other profiles, know that I'm, you know, a lot of these are just going to get straight to the point with all that, uh, all this stuff. But um, mainly unique, if you don't know what unique is, pretty much meaning that you can only have one of these in uh, in your staging area. So you can run multiple of this, but when one comes down, if one's down there and you happen to play another one and it comes down, one of them have to get destroyed. One of them have to be go to the discard pile. Okay, so remember that when you're running it. But three diff, six check, which is important, very important. Uh, be able to get some of those big shots going off. It's like, oh, I need a six to block or I need a six to attack. Hey, check that six. Or you need a seven and you check that six, you just need to pay one foundation. Uh, it's It really helps. Uh, but why I run this, uh, response, commit. After you block, after your blocked attack resolves, build it face down. So it's pretty neat because now any of those attacks, you can clear your carpool or clear with, with the one attack you have, not clear your carpool necessarily, but just one of the attacks that was blocked, you can use this, commit this, bring that down, and now it's used as a foundation. Build it face down, and then you can continue on with your onslaught, uh, or your salt, whatever you wanna call it. Um, next we have uh, pull no punches. Pull no punches, uh, I like this card a lot, actually. Three diff, five, uh, um, uh, five control. Uh, I mean, really, just, just the enhance alone. Enhance destroy, add one punch attack from your card pool to your momentum, I mean, I don't, I don't need to really explain that. I mean, it's self-explained. It does have a deadlock enhance. I don't know how often people are going to get it going to deadlock, but then again, the way the game is, it does seem like people may be going into deadlock more often than usual. Uh, deadlock enhance, your punch attack gets plus two speed and gain, and gain stun one. Those of you who do not understand or know what deadlock means, deadlock is when your rival is at more than 10 foundations in their staging area. When they're doing that, they are considered at deadlock, which now unlocks this ability to be used, okay? So make sure you pay attention to that. This, I mean, yeah, I don't need to explain anymore about that. Uh, then we have one passing the torch. Another one, um, really good card, really great card. Uh, commit, more hand advantage, draw one card. If for some reason you have used all of your, or brought him all the way down to a certain point, I mean, where you have zero cards that you're drawing when you're starting your turn, I'm pretty sure you'd be dead by then, but just in case you're not, um, or you just use your cards for blocking or whatever, and you have no more cards in your hand, this card pretty much says, hey, commit this, I draw one. If I have no cards in my hand, I draw two. This is also in the rival deck. So if you have not picked up a rider, like I said, there's a lot of great kits. Anybody that has these symbols, more than likely you're gonna see them run a lot, of, run this card passing the torch. Really good card. Uh, next we have uh, four good impression, uh, good impressions. Um, exactly what it says has an enhance. Uh, it's a two diff first and uh, five control. Um, enhance flip your next punch attack gets minus one difficulty. So that really makes it easier for you to play more attacks and, and make it, it just. I mean, you play a four and then you have to do it on a five, but instead, if you have used this on the previous attack, pretty much you flip this. It, the difficulty becomes less than that. It gets by one. So instead of it being on a five, it would be on a four again. So it's a really good card. Have four of them. I mean, if you have happen to have three or four of them out, you can make your big attack, flip all these over, and then it's just like, hey, it's going to practically cost nothing to play these. So really good. Out of the Deku kit, uh, I mean, the rival deck, definitely want to pick that up. Uh, this is a common from... Uh, from the main set, My Hero set, uh, Specialist of Sound. Um, if you check it, you get to look at the top card of your deck, uh, or sorry, reveal it. So you do have to show it to both you and your opponent. But it's good because now you know what you could play or how you're gonna block or what you're gonna be able to, how, how you're gonna pass the next check. The other thing is when your opponent plays an attack or after an attack is played, obviously you would not wanna do this to yourself. It has a response, you commit it and you give the attack minus three speed. Defensive card, very beautiful, helps you survive longer. Then we have uh, plug-in, uh, two diff, 
Five control. I mean, you can see it all, so I don't have to keep saying I won't keep saying that about the cards. Has a response. Flip after this card is committed due to your uh, rival's effect. Draw a card playable while committed. So pretty much those of you who don't know what like stun is. Stun is an enhance ability, a, a, um, a keyword enhance ability that pretty much says, hey, you have to commit one of your foundations. So if they say stun one, you commit this and then you say response, flip this, you get to draw a card. So hand advantage. This guy's going to draw like a monster. He's, he's a beast. Uh, the other, enhance, flip, look at the top card of either player's deck, you may discard it. So, great thing about this, allows you to look at either one, but you, you can only choose one. So if you choose your own, you're seeing what you have next. If it's a bad check and you're planning on blocking, you'll want to get rid of it. If you plan on passing the next check, you'll probably want to get rid of it. Or if you want to kind of get an idea of what your opponent is going to check, if he gets a good, if you see that he's going to have a good check, you can get rid of it. Or if you see he's going to have an attack, the bad check, Leave it on top. So it allows you to just kind of peek in uh, into the future, if you will. Um, next, we have Determined for Mainstream Success. Um, one diff, five control. Enhance, flip, name a card type, then reveal the top card of your deck. If the card matches the uh, name type, add it to your hand. So this can combo with this. You know, you look at the top, you see it. It's a foundation or an attack. Then you use this flip it over, name the card type, which is an attack or whatever you knew what it was. Look at it. Oh, look, it's like I knew what it was. You draw it. So you're just hand advantage. It, it's, it's just going to allow you to keep drawing. It's, it's really, really ridiculous. Uh, then we have this. Now, most people are going to look at this and kind of be like, well, why? I mean, it does deal with only fury attacks, which there's a lot of characters that's going to be running around with fury attacks. I and mean, we're running four of them. Um, but it not only is it a one check, so it's a spam, so you can kind of make sure you get, just be able to build more, but it's a six check, which is really, really good. Allows you, once again, to pass those big things. And it also has a high block of one, so it makes it easier to block with that. So it's really just kind of like an additive. There's something that will really help with um, dealing with decks, I mean, dealing with uh, checks and stuff. Uh, next, we have note taking. We have three note taking. Um, uh, we already see what it is, one did five. Uh, enhance flip your punch attack gets plus two speed so self-explanatory pretty much you want to go you really want to use this when you want to go for a kill shot or if you want one of your attacks to really go off so you can set up for your next combo you flip that and it makes it harder for your opponent to block it uh, next we have it can't be fixed um, this spam zero check perfect I mean allows you to pass more um, we already see a five diff but it also says flip Response, after you after you commit any number of cards due to your rival's effect, build the top card of your deck face down, playable while committed. So once again, if your opponent says uh, um, stun, if your opponent says, hey, my card says commit one of your foundation, this gets committed, hey, you flip and you get to build the top card of your deck face down as a foundation. So it's like replacing it for being committed and it's adding more, so it makes it really good. And last but not least, we have Recover Girls Kiss. Uh, enhanced flip, gain one life. Self-explanatory, don't really ex need to explain it. And it's also a spam. So really good, um, really on point. And I tell you, man, this deck is fun. Really easy to pilot, easy to learn, straightforward. Don't have to do much. Um, I mean, there's not really much more to explain it. All I would do is suggest that you just build it, play with it, test with it. Um, and then if you're ready to add it or take more to, to you know, to the next level, hey, sure, go look for more rares, go look for ultra rares and stuff like that, and just keep enhancing. That's the beautiful thing about this game. It just allows you to keep going. So that's it for the deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it was really helpful. If you liked it, please share, uh, comment, and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It will definitely help out a lot. It will also Allow me to keep things going and get the word out for this game to continue to grow even more. It's a fantastic game. There you have it, folks. The deck profile for All Might. I'm telling you, you will have a lot of fun with this deck. Shout out to Christopher Pollock, who got me this awesome shirt, you know, and everything else. I mean, like, it's just so cool to be able to experience this with the guys in the community. Uh, you know, just it's just, it's community oriented. I just love building and building and building and seeing others grow. So anyways, love you guys. Stay in tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Peace.